with a box. Everybody's go! With the ugly and cuddly box. Let's party! With a box inside your kitchen that you never knew were there. With death come out when you're about, but bugs are everywhere. In the bin there lives an artist, his name is Doodlebug. And looking in the crystal ball is charming Mystic Bug. Bugins here tries very hard but never does too well. Grubbug loves to eat and Plugbug's nose knows every smell. With the bugs, yeah, with the bugs, with the ugly, cuddly bugs. With the bugs, yeah, with the bugs. It's a little animal. A baby animal? Ah! Isn't it sweet? Hello, little fluffy thing. <laughs> What's your name? Fluffy. fluffy! Do you think he's hungry? I expect so. Babies are always hungry. What do you think he'd like to eat? Well, let's ask him. What would you like for your tea? Don't shout at him! He'll wonder what he's done wrong. Sorry. What would you like for your tea? I think he'd like chocolate spread sandwiches. Oh, yeah, with tomato sauce. And onions. Yeah, let's go and get some. All right, Fluffy, we're going to get you some sandwiches. Yeah, don't run away, will you? Do you think he likes bubble gum as well? Oh, yeah, it goes well with onions. Oh. <laughs> Hey, you know, I've been thinking. Again? Yep. And what have you been thinking? Like, why is a hippo called a hippo? You know what I think? Why? Because it looks like a hippo. <laughs> yeah, because it looks like a hippo. Of course. Hey, that's cool. <laughs> Hello? Are you all alone? <sighs> That's sad. You look as if you could do with a friend. My name's Doodlebug. I think your name is, um... Fluffy. That's a nice name. Well, Fluffy, it's been lovely talking to you, but I've got to get on. My rubbish bin is too tidy. You know how it is. Look after yourself. Er... Uh, are you going to stay there all day? I mean, haven't you got a home to go to? All animals have homes. Oh, you haven't, have you? <sighs> That's sad. Everyone should have a home to go to, no matter who they are. Dogs have kennels, birds have nests. Even the cat's got a basket. <sighs> I know! I'll make you a home with doors and windows and curtains and a jacuzzi. Just wait there. I could even put in a stair lift. Why does a bear wear a fur coat? Well, I don't know. Why does a bear wear a fur coat? Cos he'd look stupid in an anorak! <laughs> <laughs> and he's not the only one! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. The rubbish I find lying around. Never mind. Soon get rid of this. Mystic Mugbug's Amazing Facts. Did you know that a long time ago people sometimes named their children after their favourite animals? Imagine being called Hippopotamus. The school register would have been very odd. Hippopotamus, here, miss. Frog, here, miss. <coughs> oh, mercy me! Here comes another animal, that beastly cat. Dive, dive, dive! <coughs> <coughs> He's never been one for talking much. Actually, there are seven kinds of big cat. The biggest is the tiger. 
tigers are about three and a half metres long. There are lots of my relatives here at Chessington World of Adventures. This handsome fellow is a serval. And here's a big black jaguar. Now I'm definitely not related to these chaps, although they are all part of the family which include humans. Monkeys are among the most intelligent creatures on Earth, although I find it hard to believe that they could be as intelligent as me. Look how they use their tails to help them balance. Apes are closely related to monkeys. Can you spot what makes them different? They have no tails and they're larger than monkeys. This is a gorilla, the largest of all the apes. Now I bet you know who this zebra is related to. Yes, of course, he's the only member of the horse family with stripes. Mmm, pretty birds. I do feel peckish now. That one would taste nice. Oh, the trouble is all these bars. I can't get into the cage. I need a bird without a cage. Aha! Penguins. They're birds, but they can't fly. They also like water, which means I can't get to them without getting wet. This is not my day. I'll have to go home for my dinner. Bird alert! Grab's up, little Fluffy. Yeah, we've made you a scrummy sandwich. Bon appétit! <coughs> Fluffy? Well, he was here a minute ago. Fluffy! Fluffy! Fluffy? Fluffy? Fluffy! Fluffy! Oh. He must have wandered off. Well, we must find him before the sandwich goes green and curly round the edges. Yeah, let's split up. You go that way. And I'll go that way. Right. Fluffy! 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 Right. I... Yeah? ...have twelve ears, five noses and three eyes. Yeah? So what am I? Really ugly? Yeah, right! <laughs> Mess everywhere. Am I the only one that cleans up around here? Look, a cucumber. Who left this? It's going in the bin. Oh, no, I've got a better idea. I can make something out of this. Waste not, want not, don't you know? Raid the fridge! Uh. This is an animal. Well, it isn't actually an animal. It's more like lots of bits of food and some sticks. But it can look like an animal if you know how. And I do. Cheesy triangles all the way down. Sticks to hold them on. Carrots fix on in the same way. Two on each side to make a set of legs. And then the grapes can make good eyes. So our animal can see where it's going and it won't bump into the furniture. Ha! <laughs> that should do it. It's a crocodile. A cucumber crocodile. Watch out! There's a crocodile about! Meow, 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 meow. 99, clonk. 99, clonk. 99, clonk. 99, clonk. Hey, man! What's with the 99 clonk? You have to guess. Now, what am I? 99, clonk. 99, clonk. 99. And clunk. I give up. What are you? A centipede with a wooden leg. <laughs> <laughs> Fluffy! Fluffy, where are you? Oh, what's this? Are they trousers? Oh, no, no, they're, um... No, they're, uh... I've got it. Uh, jodhpurs. Hmm. Someone's been out horse riding. <laughs> Good luck to him. <laughs> My favourite animal is a horse. That's why I like to go out riding. When you see people riding on television, it looks really easy, but to start off with it can be quite hard to stay on. Before your riding instructor will let you go out by yourself, you have to have lots of practice. Walking first, round and round. Then learning to guide your horse by giving him a little nudge with your foot and a gentle pull on the reins to make him go left or right. When you learn to do that, you can start learning to trot up and down, which can be a bit sore until you get used to rising and falling in time with your horse's trotting steps. Soon you will learn to canter, and maybe you'll even start jumping over some low jumps. It takes a lot more hard work to become a show jumper or jockey, 
Maybe one day I'll be good enough. My pet giraffe lives with me. No one knows. It's a secret, you see. He lives under my bed and I keep him well fed with nuts and bananas for tea. He followed me home from the zoo one day. No one asked, so I didn't say. Oh, it's such a good laugh to play with a giraffe. I really hope he can stay. If they find out, I won't let him go. He's my friend. I do love him so. He shares all his sweets and his birthday treats. He's the most generous giraffe that I know. He's clean and his manners are nice. I want to stay with him the rest of my life. We'd live in a flat with a dog and a cat. Just me, me giraffe and me wife. Slow, slow, quick, quick, slow. Slow, slow, quick, quick, slow. Hey, that's good. Thanks. <laughs> hey, man. Yeah, man? Do you know what bird goes quick, quick? No, man, I do not know what bird goes quick, quick. A duck with hiccups. <laughs> hey, what are you doing, man? <laughs> That's how you get rid of hiccups. You scare them away. Oh, boo! Ah. Finished. I think Fluffy's going to be really happy living in this box. It's not too big and it's not too small. All it needs is a few pictures and a beanbag and it can move in. Where are you? Are you hiding? What have you lost? Our new friend. Ooh, what does he look like? Er, uh, he's sort of small and pink and then... Fluffy! Oh, that's funny. I've got a new friend exactly like that. His name's Fluffy. <gasps> Must be the same one. Everybody knows Fluffy. So, if he's gone, where can he be? He might be lost. <gasps> he's probably wandering around. And he can't find us. He must be scared. And lonely. And crying. Sobbing his little heart out. Poor little Fluffy. Where can he be? <sighs> oh! <gasps> Plugbug and Doodlebug could do with a cheetah to help them look for their fluffy friend. A cheetah is the fastest animal on Earth. It can run as fast as a hundred kilometers per hour. That's as fast as a car going down a motorway. Here's some advice. Don't challenge a cheetah to a race. I think you would lose. <laughs> hey, I'm kind of tired of being a bug. I think I'd rather be an animal. What? What kind of animal, man? I could be a dog. But dogs have fleas. What about a mouse? Oh, mice eat cheese, yeah. I'd like to be an elephant. What happens when you sneeze? It's good to be a I'd like to be a snake. What, and have no legs? How about a chicken? Oh, a chicken lays eggs. I could be a vulture. And live on all the dregs. It's good to be a bug. Oh, it's good to be a bug. Yes, it's good to be a bug. I could be a monkey. Monkeys live up trees. I could be a caterpillar. With a hundred knobbly knees. What about the cat? Ah, don't do that! It's good, it's good to be a bug. It's good to be a bug. It's good to be a bug. Right, that's this place spruced up a little bit. I may be a bug, but I can't bear clutter. Never could. Clutter. Clutter! I like that word. Clutter! Now, what am I going to do with this thing? Ah, I know. Clutter! Hello! My name's Mr. Clutter. What's yours? Oh, dear. Where has Fluffy gone? I miss him terribly. If we find him, we must never lose him again. I'll make some toys for him to play with when he gets back. Hm. In the bin! <laughs> Lots of good stuff in my bin. I'll make animal puppets with these paper plates. Red paint in the centre and green on the outside. 
then a fold down the middle and bits of egg box with silver foil for the eyes. <laughs> Looks a bit like Mystic Mugbug. I can make loads of different ones and Fluffy can choose the one he likes best. That's if we ever find him. Mystic Mugbug! Mystic Mugbug! You've got to help us find Fluffy! Oh, she's gone. I don't know. Just when we needed her. She's our only hope. Mystic Mugbug! Oh, look, look, look. She's left her crystal ball. Oh, eh? Do you know how to work this thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, of course I do. I've seen her do it loads of times. She just sort of um, stands behind it and waves her arms around and puts on that silly voice. Well, go on, then. What does she say? Oh. Um... <clears throat> Oh, the mists! The mists are clearing! I see! I see! Ha what on earth do you think you're doing, you funny little bug? Oh! And why were you putting on that silly voice? Uh, oh, no time to explain, Mystic Mug! You've got to help us! We've lost a very dear friend! How careless! Our friend Fluffy's gone missing! You must look into your crystal ball and show us what's happened to him! Leave it to me! The crystal ball will reveal it all! Oh, the mists are clearing! I see! I see! Uh, what do you see? I see a ball of pink fluff! <gasps> Fluffy! I see a hand holding the ball of pink fluff! Who is it? Who is it? I don't know. There's interference. Oh! oh! Hurry up! There's no time to lose! Hush! You're disturbing the vibrations. Ah! The mists are clearing. A face is coming through. I see. I see. Yeah? Who is it? Who's got Fluffy? I see. Grub bug? Grub bug? Grubbox got Fluffy! <gasps> How very exciting! And so is this. Did you know that the Emperor Moth has such a strong sense of smell that he can smell a lady moth three miles away? Oh, those moths! Perhaps I should find out the secret of their perfume. <laughs> Pom, poddly, pom, 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 pom! That's him! Where is he? Who? Where? What? Look, grub bug, this is important. Think carefully. You were cleaning the kitchen today. Yes, it was in a bit of a state. Always is. Yeah, and when you cleaned up around this bit, did you find anything? Yes, the usual rubbish, old crisp packets, banana skins, bit of fluff. Bit of fluff? Yes, bit of pink fluff, actually. Pink fluff? Yes, pink fluff. So what did you do with this bit of pink fluff? Well, I took it away. And? And I was going to use it to clean the oven. <gasps> but I didn't. <gasps> I thought it might get stuck in the grill. So where is it? Why? Well, it's fluffy. Certainly is. That's why I stuffed it in my pillow. What? Fluffy's our friend. Our pet. Oh, oh dear. Well, I'd better go and get him out then. Please. Silly old me. Good thing I didn't have a night's sleep on him. <laughs> boing, 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 boing. Yeah. Yeah. What do you call an insect on a pogo stick? Don't know. What do you call an insect on a pogo stick? <laughs> a grasshopper. <laughs> <laughs> boing, boing, hey, boing. Hey, wait for boing. me. Boing, 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 boing. Ah, oh, Fluffy. Better now, Fluffy? Bet you're glad to be home, Fluffy. In your nice new home. Tuck up in bed now, Fluffy. And what do we say when we say good night? Night, night. Sleep tight. And don't let the bugs bite. <laughs> <laughs>